Johnson will let it bounce into the end zone. Aggressive approach from Todd Munkin, who calls the play as Georgia looking to throw again. Bennett across the middle, and the catch is made. And that's Mitchell making an instant impact in his welcome back game. They're threatening inside the 40. Here's that look, a little play action. See the backers, their eyes in the backfield. That's the biggest challenge they have tonight is Todd Munkin. Five plays and five passes from Georgia. Really quick now. Bennett flushed, chased, and he'll take a short loss there. This has been near the edge of his range in games. And he drives it, but it drifts wide left. This is the third time he's kicked on this surface. He's comfortable here, but just missed that one. Plenty of time for Stroud. Directing receivers, flips it to the end zone, caught, touchdown! Marvin Harrison Jr. making a huge impact in the Buckeyes draw first blood, 31 yards. Watch the job of the coverage downfield. Watch the job of this defense and watch how C.J. Stroud work. Look at the pocket. Look at the pocket. Now watch Marvin Harrison and watch what C.J. Stroud does with his hand. Get over. He turns him and directs him to that corner. Tight end who's lined up on the left side of the formation. Hand it off inside. Bouncing off tackles. Edwards roaming free. Banging down to the Ohio State 35. They didn't wrap him up. Vanderbilt got him a couple times in that route. Ball quickly out. McIntosh, knifing to the end zone, touchdown, Georgia. Just like that, the Bulldogs bounce back. Out here, and then get the lineman out in front, and you get behind it. You'll see the receiver to the outside there, the big tight end, Washington. Throw it, now get behind that convoy of blockers. See them finishing blocks on those defensive backs. you see a lot. Strad on the move, bootlegs back, and once again, finds Harrison, and Marvin Harrison Jr. tracked down from behind, they knocked the ball loose, the Georgia collect it, no, it bounced out of bounds, it was knocked out of his hands by Keely Ringo, but they couldn't collect it, and the Buckeyes move it inside the 15. Harrison's the only guy split wide, and they're going to hand the ball off inside, Williams, powering forward, drive! the legs and scores for Ohio State. That has been missing in recent weeks. Mayan Williams with a physical run. But guys back on top. Good job by Mitch Rossi as well with a heck of a block. But Chris, you're right. He stopped. And you've not seen that in Mayan Williams showing not only is he healthy, but you see the power that he brings. McIntosh is the back. It's McConkey in motion. Bennett Avoids the rush and delivers, but it's intercepted. He threw it right to Steele Chambers. And the first bad decision by Bennett tonight and the first takeaway of this game. Covers perfectly. Look at 22. He's anticipating this throw to Kenny McIntosh. Is right there in a rare mistake by Stetson Bennett to throw it into coverage. The tailback Chip Trainum was a linebacker until a shift midseason. Stroud harassed. He escapes again and it's in. No throw to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown Harrison again. Stroud, like a maestro, escapes the sack and delivers a strike for the second time to his star receiver. Once again on a scramble, he looks for his guy. They work on this. C.J. Stroud, though, is doing things that he hasn't really shown in these big games, and that's creating with his legs. Kendall Milton is the back. And it's going to launch downfield on the run. Caught! Arian Smith, a speedster, makes the catch down to the Buckeyes' 10. When, when you have a receiver like this to get, get to the middle of the field, these linebackers with two deep safeties, he's got to run with that. He anticipates that he tries to get a head start, but you're talking about a track athlete. You're vulnerable down the middle. Backer's got to carry that. Milton makes a cut and bangs down near the goal line. Touchdown! He got in. How about that answer by Georgia?
he's able to get in there. Delp's about 50 pounds lighter than Washington. Doesn't quite strike fear into defenders as a blocker the way the Big O does, but he did his job well there. McIntosh wins the deep setback. And he's got the football. And he's got a crease in the clear. McIntosh, one man to beat. Touchdown, God, he's doubled. Are you kidding me? The turf monster got him at the 10. McIntosh in motion. Bennett's going to run it. Can he get the edge? He walks in. Touchdown, Georgia. We both appreciate Todd Monk and his personality, but also his play design. It's just beautiful. Everybody on the defense is off to the right. Very easy. You seal the edge, you bring the tackle around, and Stetson Bennett's got great speed to get to the corner. Play clock at three. And it has time. Delivers over the middle. Strike. First down. Rosemary Jack Saint rolling down inside the 35. Incompletions. One of them, of course, was the interception, but 11 for 14 for Stetson in this first half. To Mitchell in motion. They hand it off inside to Milton. Milton banging down inside the 20 before Chambers stopped him. And this one inside that left upright. So they were down 14, and now they're up three, a minute 44 before the break. Stroud has rediscovered that rhythm, flips it right down the middle. It's Johnson who's got it, spinning to the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State, as they reclaim the lead. So they have two safeties back here, right? Well, look in the middle, the matchup that Ohio State creates here with Xavier Johnson. It's exactly what they want, one-on-one -on -one against the middle linebacker. And instead of just kind of pulling up underneath, he goes right by Javon Dumas Johnson. And how about that layered throw, just kind of a soft touch. Knew the safety is, had split, and he knew that he had separation to be able to get the ball to Johnson behind that middle backer. We talked about Stetson Bennett on the Georgia side. Johnson was an ex-walk-on. He finally got a scholarship last year, and in the portal era, he just hung around and showed loyalty, and here he is in the semifinal catching a touchdown pass. Yeah. It takes a lot to keep Stove Raffle. They have to do without their tight end. Now Stroud, deep drop, looking downfield, launches for Fleming, who comes back to the football. It was underthrown, but he collects it at the 45 in front of Ringo. On third and two, play action flips wide open. Abuka, touchdown, Ohio State. What a start for the third quarter for the Buckeyes. Only four incompletions. For the defender right. and the receiver gap. That, that's unusual for Georgia's coverage. Backside pressure, they've got him. And that was Bullard coming on the blitz. Bennett, drop behind the line. They gave a simulated pressure look, only rushed four, and he hesitated, couldn't find anybody open. It's a lot warmer than the playing conditions these teams have been dealing with for the second part of the season. Hayden is free down the sideline. Just a shoestring tackle prevents an even bigger play, but the Buckeyes are threatening again. Out, and it's been Rossi. 17 yards is their longest run. Stroud has a man open in Sabuka, knocked out of the 10. Ohio State threatening to bust this open late third quarter. Stroud rolling, looking that way, retreating, and he'll just throw it out of the back of the end zone. There was heavy pressure. Actually, a flag comes out. I thought it was going to be way beyond the end line. Harrison worked his way back and actually made a play on the ball and is down on the field. That ball was fluttering, and I thought it had no chance to be completed. Harrison being attended to by the athletic training staff. It, somehow that ball almost came down in bounds on the back end. I thought it was you. I, it was fluttering. Personal foul. Targeting. Defense number 22. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. The play is under review. Of course they'll review it. That's Javon Bullard. An enormous play. Instead of an incompletion, this would set up Ohio State in the first and goal. Kirby bringing everybody He's just trying to buy time. Watch, this ball doesn't go into the stands. It's on the back line, and there's the hit right there. 
I mean, he's on the back line. He steps out, but he's trying to make a play. Then the big hit by Bullard, and that's where the flag came in. Looks like he hit him with a shoulder pad. Terry Lade and the Pac-12 crew will take a look at this one. Now, there was the helmet to helmet that time. A replay took this targeting rule off. It's not rule targeting. Your thoughts? I agree with replay. I do not have targeting. He is defenseless. It was close to contact to the head neck area, but it was more to the shoulder. I did not see his head spin back from it. The first of the night by Noah Ruggles, who's been almost automatic in his Ohio State career. And from 25, he makes the lead 14 now with 31 seconds to go. It's not necessarily that they're doubling him. Georgia really not targeting him a lot. There he is. Down the middle, and Q, it's Bowers, who is open that time, and rumbles out of the 16. The dogs go backwards from there. Bennett is the holder. Rodlesny's missed a couple long ones, but made two short ones. Ohio State, no one's done that to them. No, no, and Ohio State getting a lead got them out of that their style of play. Play fake. Launch. Wide open. Arian Smith left alone, and Georgia strikes quickly. 76 yards. Ransom was in coverage, and he slipped. Smith got way behind him. That's exactly right. Man free in the middle. Man to man over here. Man to man over here. And what you're going to see is Ransom just lose his balance on the turn. A little stutter move to the inside. He turns to run and he loses his balance. And when you play man free, there's nobody back there to help you out. So they haven't played. Three catches for 129. Bennett delivers. And the two-pointer is good to Lad McConkey. The electric receiver battling through knee pain has been able to do very little tonight. You can see he's limping back to the sidelines, makes the catch. Dogs are showing pressure. He brings some. Stroud spins away. Tucks the ball. C.J. Stroud still running. Toughness from the quarterback position. They're inside the 35. Stroud will be sacked. It was a slow developing play, and they could not keep Dumas Johnson out of the backfield. Bullard helped him out. Ruggles to build the lead to six to at least force Georgia to score a touchdown to win it. Drives it right through. And it has time, flips it across the middle into traffic, and there's Brock Bowers, first down at the 45. Bennett steps up, delivers down the middle, Kyrus Jackson makes the catch at the 15. In the final minute, Bennett from the pocket, launches to the end zone, caught, touchdown, A.D. Mitchell. A PAT away from the lead. Constanted Bennett's crazy, unlikely, impossibly far-fetched career arc get any wild. Now you got the matchup in here for the touchdown with A.D. Mitchell. And look at this move at the top of the route. Gets him one-on-one, -on -one, a little switch release. Affects maybe the, the coverage, but right there, you see that little inside, uh, inside move affects Denzel Burke. And then the throw by Stetson Bennett, he couldn't even really get anything into it. He fell back as he released that ball, but still throws it accurately. A couple things. Mitchell, Kirby Smart said, we need a big game from him. He said, Coach, he hasn't caught a pass since week two. Doesn't that concern? Long throw and a catch by Fleming, who's out across the 40. Steps out, saves the timeout. Stroud flushed again. He's got a lot of space right up the middle. CJ Stroud down into field goal range at the 30. 
Never in his life has he had a game like this, winning with his legs and his arm. And we talked about trying to get in around the 35 to have a chance, you know, for Ohio State fans. It's having visions of Cardale Jones scrambling like that against Alabama right down the middle of the field. But how about he waits and waits until he makes his decision? Look at the coverage. Look at everybody having their backs turned here, right? They're playing man-to-man. -man. Everybody clears out, and it just opens up. Nobody there to account for him. As much as he's done today with his legs coming into this game, that was not on the scouting report. I mean, sure, he's athletic, but like you said, this is a career game with what he's doing running the football. From 50 for the win and a spot in the national championship game. It's on the way. No good. He hooked it. And Georgia is going to survive. At the stroke of midnight, the first few seconds of 2023, Ohio State falls one kick short. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.